Now the men's 100 meters T51 final featuring the Paralympic and European champion Tony Piespinen of Finland and the reigning world champion from Belgium, Peter Genning. The great Alvisi Davidi in this as well, whose first championship medal came in Seoul in 1988. Tony Peaceman, champion in London in 2012 and in Swansea in 2014. Silver in the 100 metres last year in Doha, the Finnish Paralympic personality of the year, held a Mestre of Portugal. Seventh in the 100 and the 400 in his first championships last year. Here is the world champion from Doha in the 100 and the 400, Peter Kennan, and previously a European champion in wheelchair rugby. Jao Carrera was out of the sport for 10 years. He almost lost his life in 2006. He was given a 10% chance of survival after an operation. He's back in the sport, his first major championship since 06. Al VC Davidi, nine times a world champion, a seven times Paralympic champion, twice a world champion, nine major championship goals. Here's Britain's Stephen Osborne from Dartford, former wheelchair rugby international, fourth in the 100 meters final in the Worlds last year, and bronze in Swansea, and in his first major championship at the age of 43, the Italian Riccardo Cavallini, or at least he'll be 43 in a couple of weeks. So the reigning champions in lanes two and four, the Paralympic and European champion there, Tony Piespinen of Finland, and two lanes down, Peter Genin of Belgium. Piespinen two, Mestre three, Genin four, Correa five, Davidi six, Osborne seven, Cavallini in lane eight. T51, the fourth ranked of the wheelchair categories in the 50s. Two and four, realistically, the lanes to watch. She's been in two, again in four. No, they're going to have to reset, I'm afraid. Elder Mestre in the middle for Portugal has got two prime contenders either side of him. Alvisa Davidi is the most experienced man in the race. Three goals, Sydney 2000, by the way, marathon 815. He's uh, twice marathon Paralympic champion, and here he is in the 100 final. And he won silver in London 2012 in the 100, Alvisi Davidi. He's spinning into Gannon for Davidi six. And away they go this time. Gannon in lane four, decent start. And Stephen Osborne for Britain as well in lane seven. And here goes Peaceman in into Peaceman in for Finland. Gannon of Belgium in four. Osborne is going to probably take that here, but what a man that is. Peaceman in the bin and Gannon the Belgian. And Gannon looks as if he's just going to take it, and he has done with Peaceman in second place. And Stephen Osborne takes the bronze for Britain 20.92. It wasn't far off Peaceman in world record in the end of 2047 set last year it was a tight margin in the end but Kennan and Peacebinen were the men who had the best start and they in the end saw Kennan take a championship record at 20.78 the battle of two 39 year olds here and their confirmation of the win championship record 20.78 seconds I tell you what Will if it had been a match and a race over 80 metres, then Tony Bispinen, the defending champion and the Olympic champion in lane two, he'd have been the winner. Gets the clear advantage in the early stages and watch as they cross these lines, indicative here. He's probably got a metre, but now at this part, Genin starts to come back, closing, nothing between them there, and over the last 20 metres, through comes Genin, had the momentum by then, and winning by a narrow margin. There's something very similar happening in Doha. It's the same one too as there also. 
A reverse of the top two positions from Swansea and the last European Championships. Gannon has learned an awful lot. Only switched from wheelchair rugby after a leg break three years ago. He was an excellent Belgian wheelchair rugby international. Now brilliant on the track. They've had some great sprinters in the last 10 years, Belgium, and they've done it again. Gannon, championship record 27-8. Peaceman in second for Finland. Osmond third for Britain.